I think I speak for everyone when I say that we're all sick of the meta cars in GT7. The same cars are at the top of the leaderboards all the time, so I thought I'd come to one of my favourite OG tracks on Gran Turismo and bring them back down to earth in the worst possible way, by beating them in this thing, the VW Samba Bus. So first things first, we need to go to the garage and find ourselves a victim. So we're going to go to category, we're going to go to the group 3 cars, Let's sort it by, ah, okay, distance driven. So this top row here are the cars that we've driven the most. I think of these six, I think the GR Supra Racing Concept stands out. We're always using this car. This one's always at the top of the leaderboards. Let's take this one. So let's take our Toyota Supra to Asia and the high speed ring. This is where we're going to set a initial lap in time trial mode to see what time we need to beat with the Samba bus. Let's go. Cool. I forget how much I like this track. One of the OG ones from the Gran Turismo franchise. Might be a bit rusty here. That's fine. Oh. I do miss this. I do miss this place. Why is this not on the daily races more? Right, so. High speed ring. Clues in the name a little bit. High speed track. Plenty of, as you can see here, banked corners. There's been some wall riding here in the past, but hopefully we don't need to resort to that today. I was thinking to myself, this should be quite a good matchup. But I forgot quite how high speed the high speed ring is which could be a problem for the not very high speed uh, Samba bus which we're going to get to in a moment so let's just get around here and set a representative lap time car through the tunnel this is such a cool track now I'm not revving it all the way out because that's where the maximum power band is on this car Let's come through the final corner here. Let's put it down to fifth and let's see what time we're going to need to beat. Up to sixth, run to the line, and it's going to be a one minute, one minute 11.128. And let's go and get the Samba bus. Let me just talk you through this a little bit, this car. So, uh, 33 brake horsepower, this one. Uh, it weighs in at 1,095 kilos. And, uh, yeah, so not the quickest. It's equipped with comfort hards, and I haven't changed anything. So this is stock as it comes. Performance points, 116.67. Let's see how quickly it goes around the high-speed ring. Completely stock. 1 minute 11, 1, 2, 8. Tell you what, for maximum, <laughs> my word. for for maximum uh, immersion, we're going in with this. We're going to be in the, I call it cockpit. I think just the driver's seat will do. Let's have a look around this thing. My word, it's already revved out. I think. Has it got four gears? It does just have four gears. Okay. Right. And we are across the line. Cruising currently at 63 miles an hour. 64 now. Let's have a look in the back. Can we have a look in the back? Nope, it's not letting me have a look in the back. Let's have a look in the back. There we go. Is everybody okay? <laughs> I think we've got to take the shortest route to the line. This thing is bouncing at the moment. So normally if you're on or carrying any sort of speed probably want to be up on that banking there but this one we want to be as close to that white line as possible oh my word yeah we're just gonna we're just gonna hug hug the track entirely i think hug the inside shortest route to the finish line which is quite a long way away we're up to 68 miles now now i think i might have to come out here use the banking a little bit to get around it because i don't want to lose any speed go 
No, we're losing, we're losing, we're losing. Come on, come on, come on. Right, so the Supra finished in a 1 minute 11. We've only gone through sector 1 and we're 1 minute 7.797. So we've got, we've got a lot of work to do. Let's try and keep this flat here. Can we keep it flat? No, we're going to have to lift, I think. Go. We have a slight lift here too. Right, straighten up as early as we can. I refuse to change down to third. 58. 59. We're going to get 60. 60. Back down to 59. My word. Final corner now. This is going to have to come a long way. <laughs> right, let's go, let's go. We're in two minutes now. Right, we're not going in the pitch. We're just hugging that inside line. Come on, 61. 62. Go, 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 go. 63. Past the pit entrance. 64. What's it going to be? 2.30. 1.997 oh, I may have bitten off more than I can chew here So welcome to the new iteration of our Samba bus So this is the first set of upgrades we're going to do And as with any good tuner What you want to do is maximise the power And lower the weight as much as possible So let me show you what we've done We've also given it a lick of paint to show its intent. There we go. <laughs> Means business now, right? So let me just talk you through what we've done here. So we have firstly changed the engine to a 911 engine, a Porsche 911 engine, that classic engine swap that you can do on Gran Turismo, which has, along with the inlet and exhaust that we've changed, that has brought it up to 453 brake horsepower. And just to recap, or just to advise now what we're working with here, we've gone from a 25 second quarter mile time to a 14 second quarter mile time. So hopefully this second attempt should knock quite a lot of time off, considering we now have over 10 times as much horsepower as we had before. So let's see how that affects the time. Right, okay. Here we go. Right, I'm gonna keep it in as high a gear as possible. Just give the tires as much chance as possible of providing us any grip at all. Right, we've got our ghost here in front of us. That's not gonna be around for long. Because watch it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get off the power now at this point. I kept my foot in it last time, and uh, yeah, there you go. That's what happened. Oh, oh. Right, come on. How are the brakes? The brakes are going to be terrible, aren't they? Stop. Oh, we've touched the wall slightly, but I think we're okay. Right, we're eight seconds up against our best. That's going to go up, I think. Now this can be the tricky bit. We'll just get through here without a problem, Rory. I'm just so scared to put the power down. You can hear the tyres screaming. But I think there's a lot here that we can that we can help this car out with in the next round of upgrades. Let's just see though what we can do here. Don't crash now. Final corner. Drifting through. Go. Right, what's it going to be? 126, 127, 128, 129. 132.122. Our previous time was a 231 so those upgrades 
have improved by a minute. But we've still got 20 seconds to find. So here we are back in the garage. Um, last time, we upgraded the engine to a 911 engine. We also put the intake and exhaust all to racing. So we had the air cleaner, the silencer, and the exhaust all on racing. So it went quick as we saw in a straight line, but it struggled with everything else. So I wonder if we upgrade everything else. So the suspension, the differential, let's see what else we've got here. ECU, so we've done that. The transmission, let's give that a racing transmission. Uh, right, brake system, give us some carbon brakes, some racing brake pads. I mean, we'll have a handbrake, hopefully we won't need it. Uh, brake controller as well, so we can play around with the uh, front rear brake balance. Steering angle kit, we'll have one of those as well, and a clutch and flywheel. So now we've got all the power we need. It should feel like a racing car as well. Let's see how it does this time. Yeah, this thing really needs some racing tires, I think. Listen to it. Can you hear the screaming of the tires? So normally you need to be careful in the corners, but this thing is such a monster. You need to be careful in a straight line too. Let's come out of here in fourth. Even, even then it's spinning up. Let's finish the lap though, we'll try to at least. I said we were gonna try to get a few laps in, but I think it's fairly clear what the last upgrade we need is. Let's give it some beats to the line, see if we can make it. Uh, right, I think the best we can muster with this thing is a 131.866. Let's go put the final upgrade on some tyres on. We've got one last thing that we can change. So let's go to the car settings here. Comfort hards. Let's bring this down to racing softs. Let's go. Everything else has been maxed out. Absolutely everything. Let's have a look here. That's now given us, if we have a look down here, a 10.86 second quarter mile car. Let's see what we can do. 111 to beat. Let's go. Instantly feels a bit better, to be honest. It, we've made it without spinning so far. Right, I'm going to really go for this. 1 minute 11.128 to beat. A bit wide there. Oh, we're in the wall, pushing too hard. Okay. Attempt number four. Right. Six tenths. Down into the four teens now. Let's go. Attempt number five. Fourteen four. Right, come on. Come on, Rory. This has not been the best start. Okay. This will do. Final attempt. So we didn't manage to do it in 10 laps. But there's one more thing. That I spotted on the setting sheet. That we can try. I didn't want to. But desperate times. Go for desperate measures. One final trick up my sleeve. As we go into the settings here, I don't know if any of you saw it. I skated over it, but we can install nitrous. So let's install nitrous into our Samba bus. Turn the output adjustment up to 100% and let's see whether we can finally beat the meta. One final change you're going to make for this one last shot. Time trialing is one thing, but a race is another. So what I've done here is I've set up a race 
20 cars in this one, 19 of the exact same Metas, the Bounty Supras, and then our good selves, equipped with NOS. We've got one lap to rolling start from the back. Can we do it? Right, here we go. 20 or 19 AI in front. The stupidness of AI. We've got this on beginner mode. But we've got Nos. Look at that thing. You can see it in the bottom right there. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, no. Stupid AI. Stupid AI. You nincompoops. Right, this is not good. We've only got one lap. Right, here we go. Come on, you can see and you can hear the nitrous as well. Go, 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 go. Right, stop, 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 stop. If this is the way we need to do it, then this is the way we need to do it, I'm afraid. It's for science. Let's go through the tunnel. Go, go, go. Don't run out of nitrous. Oh, don't lose it. Don't make your way through. Don't lose it. Oh, my word. This is so close. Right. Careful, careful, careful. Just keep careful. Get in a straight line and then you're going to go. Go. Go, go, go. Yes. So long, suckers. P1 for the Sabobas. <laughs> we did it take that meta that was a fun one if you have time for one more guys make sure to check out the video linked here i hope you enjoy this one please remember to subscribe if you're new around here or if you haven't already and i'll catch you in the next one